All right, why did everybody get so quiet? It's kind of weird. Um, welcome, everyone. My name is Todd Thomas. I'm the Chief of Police for the City of Appleton. I'm honored to be the Chief of Police for the City of Appleton. Uh, we're going to start a ceremony off tonight with the Honor Guard presenting our colors. If everyone would please stand. Join in the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, you may be seated. Thank you. Thank you to the honor guard. Um, always in step. I haven't seen a lot of stuff yet. Um, appreciate all the work that you do. Uh, welcome to our 2021 honor ceremony. Uh, finally, after a couple years, we get to get together in person. It's starting to feel a little more normal. Um, great to see everyone here. We've got a lot of awards to give out tonight. Uh, two years worth of awards. Uh, so we know it's going to be a long night. We're going to try to keep things running uh, pretty smoothly and quickly. A lot of kids here. I love seeing the little kids. Uh, we're going to keep the food coming. you got to get them busy. Keep them busy uh, with, with that. That's fine. Um, you got to get up and take them outside. Obviously, do what you have to do because uh, it's probably going to be a few hours. And we're not going to take a break, so we'll just keep running through. I want to recognize the sponsor for our event, First Country Financial. Country Financial actually is paying for everything. Uh, they've sponsored uh, this event. Obviously not last year, but the year before. Uh, they paid for the facility, all the food. It's part of a national program that they have supporting first responders. So uh, Country Financial, they're not here tonight, but we're going to make sure we send them some pictures and a, and a thank you card. Before I start by introducing our, our dignitaries that we have here, um, I want to recognize and thank our most important dignitaries, and that's our family members. Uh, this has been an unbelievable year, and you know how I, you know how I feel about this. Um, I've said it many times, our families are the most important part of us, they're the best part of us, they're on this journey together, uh, and see everything and deal with everything that we deal with, and we don't always recognize it, so I want to thank the family members that are here. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, we love you, and uh, we couldn't do this without you. So that's our most important dignitaries. Uh, other dignitaries that we have here, um, Mayor, Mayor Woodford, uh, will come up and speak in a little while. Uh, we've got police and fire commission members, Barb Lukey and Harvey Sampson, and uh, best DA in the world, Mindy Templis is here also. So she's going to come up and say a few words. I mentioned a little bit before, um, this last year and a half, uh, we don't need to talk a lot about it because we've been through it. In my 37 some years, it is, it's the toughest year that I've ever gone through. 
and uh, it's the toughest year I've seen officers have to go through. And uh, the, the fact is, um, it was a year where we had a whole lot of different issues come together, uh, the perfect storm, if you will. And what we saw from that, and our families may not have seen it, is we saw our community step up uh, and support us. And as we were going through this last year, we talked about this every now and then, about just this strange, this outpouring of love and support from the community members. And it was literally every day. I would get a letter, somebody would stop by with food. I put on 20 pounds fish. Um, every day it was cookies, cake, letters, kids stopping in, families stopping in, uh, leaving notes, sending us messages. Um, it felt like when little brother gets picked on, big brother steps up and defends him. That's kind of what it felt like. Um, and that's kind of what our community did for us. And, and we saw that when we looked at our responses for our, our uh, survey that we put out last year. Uh, the, the results were amazing. Um, over 95% of the, the community has trust in us and trust what we're doing. Uh, even when you break out our, our, our community of color, uh, that's still over 90%. Um, so why is that? Why does that happen? And I think it's because of a generation, two generations of policing the right way. Of Appleton police officers, many retirees I see sitting over here, for generations treating people the right way, being good public servants, treating people with dignity and respect before it was a slogan for the city, decades before it was a slogan for the city, and treating people the right way. Um, that's why the community supports you guys and ladies. And I think that's, uh, that paid off uh, for us this last year. Things are going to get better. Uh, those that have been around for a long time, we've been through this before. We've been through this with Rodney King. Um, a lot of different events where it's, it's an ebb and flow. And usually after these periods like this, uh, we feel a, a strong support uh, for law enforcement across the country. It bubbles up, it builds, and it comes out. And I think we're starting to see that now. So. Hang in there, um, you're doing the right thing. Continue to do the right thing as we've been doing all along for generations, and, and you will not just be okay, but you're gonna be excellent, and, and you're gonna enjoy this job. It, it is the best job in the world, although there's some really tough days. Um, there's no other job where you can make the impact that you people make every single day. So um, with that, um, I wanna move on and talk, well, I'll introduce our first, uh, our first guest. Um, he's been a great supporter of yours and ours. Uh, he spent several days in the incident command room uh, during some of the protests. Um, I think it was an eye-opening experience for him, and I, I know he, his appreciation for you and what you do grew tremendously during that period of time. So I'd like to welcome up a huge supporter of ours, uh, Mayor Jake Woodford, to say a few words. saying how good it is to be in the same room as all of you. Um, you know, I've met many of you over, uh, over teams uh, after I got started, and uh, it's just not the same, so it's good to, good to be in the same room with everybody. Um, you know, we, when I got started, we had to get to know each other uh, in, in a hurry. Um, I was just reminiscing about the, the cruising event that happened uh, last year. It's about three weeks in the office, and I got down to my office, and uh, after getting calls from alders and members of the community who were concerned about what was going on, I got down to town, and I looked at it, and I thought, oh my gosh, what, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, and little did I know what, as a community and as a country, we'd be facing in the, in the months to come. But at every step of the way, Whenever APD was involved, I knew that I could trust the department and I could believe in the department and I knew that uh, we had a police department in this community that we could be proud of. And uh, I, I learned that early and it's been reinforced every step of the way. 
and continues to this day, to this moment. Uh, I'm proud of this department, I'm proud of our community, and I'm grateful for the work that you do every single day. And the work that many, many people in our community don't see. And that's also a sign of the, the hard work and the success and the quality of the work. The people in the community are blessed because they don't have to think about the things that, that you all take care of, that you work on. And I'm grateful for that too. I'm also grateful for the trust that you've extended to me coming into this role. Uh, that you invited me to the department, that you invited me to the incident command, that you showed me what you do, you told me what you do, and then you demonstrated it time and again. And I'm grateful for that because that's not, that's not always the case. So I, I don't take for granted that, that you extended that trust and I hope I've earned it and I hope to continue to earn it because you've earned mine. So uh, tonight I'm happy to celebrate with all of you the accomplishments of the last well, couple of years. Uh, and uh, grateful, to, grateful to spend some time with all of you and uh, looking forward to our continued work together to serve our community. Thank you very much and have a good night. when you, uh, you took the oath, you didn't think your first year would be um, the way it was, but you've, you've done an outstanding job. Outstanding. Uh, Harvey, um, next I want to ask our uh, Secretary for Police and Fire Commission to come up. Everybody knows him because he's hired all of you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Sampson, 37 years? A little over. A little over 37 years on the Police and Fire Commission. Thank you, Chief, Mr. Mayor. Ooh, big group. I agree with the mayor. It's really nice to be with people. And this is really the first time for me since uh, March of 2020 that I've been with more than about four people. Uh, as the Chief said, my name is Harvey Sampson. I'm the Secretary of the Commission. It's been my honor to be a member of the Commission for 37 and a half years. Uh, many of you have seen me more than once. I hope it's not been a bad experience. The Police and Fire Commission represents the citizens of the City of Appleton when it comes to personal, ma personnel matters concerning public protection. The political arm, Mr. Mayor, of city government cannot control those areas reserved by Wisconsin statutes to the commission. Uh, tonight, uh, Barb Lutke, Barb, stand up, please. Who is currently the second longest serving member, I think 27 or 28 years is with us. Uh, our chair, Pam DeLeast, couldn't make it uh, back from a meeting. Rudy Nyman, who I think all of you fondly remember. That's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> uh, He's my boss, has, has been, has been uh, was sick over the weekend and couldn't make it. And Ernesto Gonzalez, our newest member, uh, had work uh, requirements, so he could not make it. Our commission takes great pride in the officers and firefighters that serve the city of Appleton the citizens and the visitors to our city. We are committed to providing the most capable and best candidates not only to provide direct public service, but also to lead and supervise the departments. All of our police officers, from the chief to our new, newest sworn officer and all of our civilian personnel, seek to fulfill the mission statement and adhere to the core values of the Appleton Police Department. Because our command staff and officers maintain the highest standards in policing, we have what is considered one of the finest police departments, not only in Wisconsin, but in the entire country. Last year, as the Chief said, he has been trying for all of us, but more so for our dedicated first responders, police officers, firefighters, paramedics, and other medical personnel. 
you have all gone above and beyond the call of duty. The members of the Police and Fire Commission are honored to play a part in maintaining the highest standards and integrity of the Superior Department. Larry, on behalf of the Commission, we want to thank Assistant Chief Larry Potter, who is retiring Friday, tomorrow, for his nearly 30 years of service to the citizens of Appleton and the Appleton Police Department. During his time as a CSO and sworn officer, Larry has maintained his and the department's highest standards and integrity. We wish Larry and Chris well in their next adventure. Lastly, I would like to thank the APD family for their support over the last two years personally. Uh, as most of you know, I've been dealing with significant health problems and I have about 100 and 13? 113 people watching constantly, plus 90 some at the fire department, and, and my wife and I and the rest of our family appreciate it. On behalf of the commission, thank you to all those who so selflessly serve the city of Appleton, and congratulations to all of tonight's honorees, both sworn and civilian. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Um, this time I'll ask uh, this DA Mindy Templis to come up. Um, Mindy has been an uh, outstanding supporter of ours, uh, has worked with us through a lot of huge cases, uh, significant incidents that have affected our personnel, always done her job professionally um, to the top level, but also doing it with care and concern for all of our employees. So we, we appreciate everything you do for us, Mindy. Thank you for letting me be here to celebrate with you. Uh, in my office, for anyone that's ever been recently or, or comes, there is a, a sign that hangs over my desk. And it says, the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never, shall never be with those cold and timid souls that know, never know victory nor defeat by President Roosevelt. And I think that's so fitting for the work that we do, both you out on the road and us as we battle in the courts. In many ways, as we've heard and as we know, this has been a year that's been unprecedentedly difficult in so many different ways.